And we welcome everybody into the boys tournament wrap up. Here we go from team to team. We start with the third grade, the youngest team in our school. In three tournament games, they were unable to secure a win, but all three games were pretty close. Brendan has emerged from the pack as a scorer early on. Getting three games out of the way in one week will definitely help them for the season to come. To the fifth grade, here's Leslie tying her player shoe in the game Monday night. That player is one of the newcomers, Michael. We should be hearing a lot from him this season. Look at the hands here on the steal. He takes it coast to coast for the points. And then Jonathan, now in the fifth grade, it's not a good idea to leave little Johnny open. Probably the best shooter in our school. You leave him alone and he'll drain it like he did Monday night. And then he takes it to the hole, showing another side of his game. A blowout win for the fifth grade Monday night. They win 32 to two. On the round two Wednesday night, yes, that was the other team center, folks. Yes, he was in fifth grade. It was only a matter of time before he got his hand on some rebounds. He did, and then the fifth grade was down seven to nothing to start the game. Jonathan started to come back from way downtown. Bang! He drains the three ball, but they don't count three pointers in the fifth grade, so that only counts for two. They would cut the lead down to four at halftime. Late in the third, Jonathan would hurt his thumb and was relegated to the bench in the fourth. The other team took advantage and ran away with the game, 28 to 12, the final Wednesday night. And then earlier today, Mrs. Yu in her gray outfit trying to hide from the camera. The team's biggest problem in the tourney was their interior defense. Nobody guards the cutter on the out of bounds play that leads to an easy bucket. And then rebounding, they had trouble boxing out in games two and three. It ended up costing them. On the bright side, Ryan has showed huge improvements in just three games. He banks in this long jumper from the wing. Nice shot by Rai Rai, but not enough. The fifth grade loses 28 to 23. To the gym with very little lighting, Raymond starts off game one with the block party Monday night. The sixth graders dominated in game one. Grant gets the first four points almost on identical plays. He would get the steal and take it the other way for the two. And then Raymond takes charges. He explodes to the hoop. He had a game high nine points. Second half, we're showing this only because it's so funny. Garrick did not look too strong by the hoop, missing on these two easy shots by the basket. But he made up for it a little bit later on. He gets the ball once again. This time he converts a 23 to five victory for the sixth grade. Wednesday night, not so easy. The sixth grade just had nothing in the tank on offense and defense, they just weren't very good. They didn't even get on the scoreboard until late in the third when Jason Zhao hits a free throw. They would lose 24 to four and they also lost this morning 19 to 13. There's Brandon Tom scratching his head trying to figure out what the seventh grade needed to do in game two to win. After losing game one, the seventh graders dominated in Wednesday night's game. Some real nice passing by the boys early on. On the outlet to Justin, he heaves it down court to Daniel for the easy bucket. And then Brandon Koo comes up with the ball on the press. Tic-tac-toe passing. Koo to Justin to Daniel. Another two for Daniel. Justin would then get in on the scoring. He gets the teardrop to go in the lane. And then he sets up nicely for this outside jump shot. He drains it. Daniel and Justin combine for 31 of the team's 49 points. To finish up, the ball finds its way to Brendan late in the fourth, puts it off glass, six points for Quok, 49 to six, an easy win for the seventh grade. Now onto this morning for the best St. Mary's game of the tournament. The other team was on fire early on, hitting everything from the outside. The seventh grade trailed by eight at halftime. It didn't help that they were just abysmal from the free throw line. They missed their first 13 free throws and were four of 20 from the charity strike, but they still made their comeback. It all started with his jump shot by Brandon Koo, and then the rookie Christian and his long reach snags an offensive rebound and puts it back, seventh grade now down six. Late in the third, Daniel runs the break. He finds Christian again, lead down to four. Then to finish up the quarter, Daniel again running the break. He finds Justin who just gets it to roll. The seventh grade trailed by only two at the end of three. In the fourth, off a long rebound, there's Christian again and his long arms. He chases down the rebound, he takes it the other way. We have ourselves a tie game. A minute later, Justin gets the steal at midcourt, feeds it forward to the birthday boy, Brandon Tom. His shot falls, five points for the birthday boy. With less than 30 seconds to go, they were actually down a bucket and then Justin gets it into Christian with a little finger roll. Game tied 36 to 36, a game high 12 points for Christian. Final seconds of regulation, a 7th grade corrals a rebound to throw up ahead for Christian. For the win? No. We would go to overtime. In OT, the 7th grade looked a little tired and worn down. Nobody is there to clean up the boards. Easy put back for the other team. And then they ice it with this long range jumper. A good effort by the 7th graders, but just not enough as the 7th grade loses 45-39. to 39. 
And finally, we wrap it up with the 8th grade. Two teams once again, one Demeriac and then one St. Mary's Demeriac combo team. The St. Mary's team started off the tournament last Sunday. Not much to show. Their offense was not working and their defense was just non-existent. Not a good game one for the 8th graders. Game two saw the Demeriac 8th graders play together for the first time. A lot of them making their debuts, so they also looked a little rusty for most of the game. They trailed by double digits for most of the afternoon. Offensively, there were a few bright spots. Pablo would drain the second of his two three-pointers late in the game, but the 8th grade would lose 32-16. To, to today's game, where both teams would play, the St. Mary's team kept it close in the first half. Another rookie, Moises, with the jumper late in the first as they trailed 6-4 to four at halftime. But the second half belonged to the other 8th grade team. Pablo with a beautiful feed on the fast break to Julio, and St. Mary's would go ahead. Up 14-8 in the fourth, John Jett off the out-of-bounds play. He nails the jumper, four points for JJ. And then it becomes the Pablo show. Active hands in the passing lane as he makes a steal and goes in for the easy layup. Then for good measure, he do it again. The eighth grade team salvaged the last game in the tournament and win big by the score of 29-8. For extended game clips, log on to the blog and watch the raw videos of all the games we were able to shoot. St. Mary's Athletics.blogspot.com. Thanks for participating. The regular season starts next weekend. See you, pals.